My whole life, I've been told that smoking is bad. Smoking will kill you. Smokers deserve to die. I smoked for 40 years. 50 years. I'll go to my grave smoking. I pretty much thought that smoking was a thing of the past, part of history. I was wrong. Billion people dying from smoking-related diseases. 70% of current smokers want to quit. I was shocked when I found out that many people were using new ways to quit. It's one of the biggest public health breakthroughs we've ever had. E-cigarette. Un cigarrillo que utiliza electricidad. E-cigarette. Go to the savior. So you stop. Alternative to lighting up. Stop. Those ways were being banned in more and more countries. Easier to buy a cigarette than to buy an e-cigarette. That makes no sense. Governments worldwide are the biggest shareholders in the revenue of cigarettes. Dangers of e-cigarettes. Chemical. Dangerous. Poisonous. There's no evidence to back it up. It was a fraud. After a while, you say, screw it, I'm done. People are going to die. Oh! We don't know. But we don't know. Chocolate. The antifreeze. And other flavors. What's going on? Seized almost a thousand shipments. Raided my house. Nobody wants to talk about it. The public needs to know the truth about these products. And they need public health people telling the truth about the risks. At least 95% less risky than smoking. Nobody cares. It's irresponsible. Three black SUVs. Disruptive change. Legal action. Promise. Don't let the bastards win. I'm gonna quit. No. This is the battle for a billion lives. Wow, and that is why it's scooped awards at different film festivals around the world. As you can imagine, the Supreme Jury Prize and Best Director Awards at the 2016 Melbourne Documentary Film Festival. That's award-winning documentary, A Billion Lives, which examines the highly controversial topic of cigarettes, vaping and e-cigarettes and everything else. A Billion Lives is directed by Aaron Biebert, who was inspired to work on the documentary after a friend's untimely death from lung cancer. Biebert, who began to research smoking addiction, the chances of quitting, and what therapies work, joins us now to talk more about his uh, super documentary a billion lives with him is former president of the world medical association and advisor to u.n secretary general ban ki-moon dr dylan human uh guys thank you very much for joining me this morning visually it looks spectacular of that trailer uh to think that it took a personal tragedy for you to to see the impact that smoking has globally well, yeah, and what really inspired this when you think about the pain in just my life or in some of the other people I know that have lost loved ones, and then you multiply that times one billion, you know, you start to think, this is a really important topic that, you know, I don't think people are really taking seriously. And then you have access to experts uh, like Dr. Yumin here. Right, well, here, this gentleman is was the uh, president of the World Medical Association, pretty much the top doctor in the world as far as I'm concerned, and advisor, you know, to the Secretary General of the UN. When we got a chance to interview him for the movie, uh, that's pretty much what made the whole, pretty much made the whole movie. So, <laughs> and here he is, he's from South Africa. Doctor, I honestly think that people, when they watch this documentary and get a sense, and I, I'm not just talking about smoking, we're talking about this new craze, vaping and e-cigarettes mm -hmm. and everything else, that there isn't a safe place for you on that landscape. Well, that's precisely the right question to ask, is to ask, Compared, compared to uh, the smoking of normal cigarettes, uh, what would e-cigarettes do for a smoker? Now we know that with uh, people who smoke cigarettes, one out of two will have an untimely premature death and all of smokers would have some form of tobacco-related disease. We regard uh, e-cigarettes as possibly one of the biggest breakthroughs in public health because it's at least 95% safer or less harmful than cigarettes and it provides smokers with the nicotine without the tar and the smoke. Now, it's especially helpful to those smokers who really can't quit. Mm. And if you take into account that about 1.4 billion people smoke on Earth, 70% of them are really unhappy and would like to quit, but less than 2% succeed in quitting. It wow. makes sense that e-cigarettes could be the breakthrough that we've been waiting for. Wow, so there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. Yeah, uh, surprisingly, that's the big surprise. But Aaron, <laughs> here's my thing though. You know, in that trailer, I see a baby with a cigarette. <laughs> and, and you know, for me, the funny yeah. thing is, I mean, as somebody who grew up with a mom who smoked, was a smoker, after 21 years, she quit cold turkey, hasn't touched a cigarette since then, with a partner who used to smoke cold turkey, stopped quitting. Why 
or what was the breakthrough in this documentary that you, why are these people, like the doctor saying, why are they not stopping? Well, because a lot of people, when they start smoking really young, as their brain's developing, uh, you know, in their teenage years, it's actually developing around these habits and around the, the chemicals that are in the smoke, and they become really attached to it. Um, as well as, uh, I think this is something about like a half of all smokers have some sort of uh, mental illness or something that's a little bit different where they think some of the stuff that's in the smoke is actually um, helping them and mm. calming them. Stress and, and all the yeah, other stuff that they use. Although he is probably is talk that a that valid uh, excuse? Because I've heard people say that without my cigarette, I'd be, I would live a stressed life. And the other thing that I also want to talk related to this documentary is policy. We've seen the banning of cigarette advertising in this country. We've seen the white labeling of some packets. Is all of that combined, is it, is it valid, Doctor? It's valid, but the problem is it's not working to the extent that we would like it to work. If you have 1.4 billion people, it's as large as the population of India. It's very difficult to move and to get uh, such a large group of people to stop smoking. And what happens to a smoker is they actually develop receptors in their brain. And they depend on that ritual of, of smoking and the nicotine and the ambiance. Uh, and they come back. And it's a very social thing too. It's a very social thing. What I have it against is that smokers are often uh, demonized and judged. Yeah. And that is to me the beauty of this movie is it's really about the individual consumers. Yeah. Public health often makes the mistake that you need a thousand people to die before uh, you take notice. Yeah. This movie is about the individual. The person you know and you love who smokes and you'd like them to have a normal range of life, no disease. And to me, e-cigarettes is one way. If they can't quit, this is one way in which they can switch and not have the damage that they would have with a cigarette. Aaron, very quickly, I know I've got to wrap, but just details, where can people watch? Very yeah, quickly. Josie Film Festival, if you go to steerkinecore.com, you can see it. Also, it's going to be in theaters on October 26th, uh, all over South Africa. So it's going to be great. Guys, everybody's going to look forward to this. I'm going to encourage everybody to check it out. That's Aaron Biebert, who is the award-winning American film director and former president of the Me World Medical Association, advisor to UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, Dr. Dylan Newman, speaking to us about this new documentary, A Billion Lives. Go and Google it. Let's watch it. It's amazing. Let's take a break.